What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and we're going to be testing out the Vengeful Stalker today, this is the Perlescent Vladoff Pistol. Obviously Vengeful is just the prefix for fire rate for Vladoff Pistols. As we can see here though, as compared to other Vladoff Pistols, it has a superior fire rate and damage. However, it does have very slow moving projectiles as compared to the others. It has a slightly smaller magazine, it's less accurate. However, um, we're going to see how it does here in the barroom blitz. I expect it to be pretty good here in this small room um, because we're not going to have too much trouble with the projectile speed slowing us down necessarily as we would have in you know a larger map with more open areas and more distance between you and the enemy. And this weapon does bounce around quite a bit, much like the stinger in a way. And so maybe it will be really good for uh, Chain Reaction. We're obviously going to have to see how it works, though. As always, for these tests that I'm doing, I'm seeing how they work with my Blurred Trickster build, which allows for 10 points in Chain Reaction and some other points in Survivability Skills. So we'll go ahead and get started here. I'd like to find two enemies that are grouped together in order to go ahead and, you know, maybe get an initial double kill, which will most likely cause a badass Enforcer to spawn. This rat's getting pretty close to this rat, and so uh, we're going to wait until they're just a little bit closer, phase lock them, and see if we get anything going on chain reaction wise. Alright, so we killed the bottom one there, and it looked like we had done a little bit of damage to that top one as well. So now we're going to try to find one of those ultimate badass enforcers and see how quickly the stalker is able to kill them. This gun does appear to have pretty high stopping power. Um, I noticed that. It was killing these enemies pretty quickly, and obviously this is the first big enemy we're getting to, but we'll watch how quickly it kills him. Oh yeah, it's definitely very, very quick, so that's good there. The main drawbacks of this weapon are the low projectile speed and the, you know, slight inaccuracy that it has. I was still able to get a critical hit there, obviously. When you get a kill with this build, you'll gain access to the kill skills Inertia, Life Tap, and Kinetic Reflection, which should keep you alive very, very easily. I just got punched in the back by some enemies there. However, Life Tap will keep me alive. So we have a big enemy behind us here. We're going to go ahead and pick him up. Hopefully we kill some other enemies around him with Chain Reaction as we kill him. Looks like we were able to finish off that Bone Crusher there, so that's pretty cool. There's going to be some more badass enforcers downstairs and we're going to need to finish them off. I will say that this weapon is slightly more ammo e efficient than the Stinger or the uh, Anarchist was because the bullets do slightly more damage. Obviously they are slower though and so it could be more inefficient if you were trying to shoot an enemy at range. However close up like this, this gun is doing a very very good job. So the Stalker is also a decent lat off pistol. All said though, I wouldn't really recommend any of these lat off pistols for this build um, unless you really enjoy using them because there are other weapons that are obviously going to do a lot better. However, this gun is pretty strong, and uh, I have 5 points in Accelerate, which is increasing my projectile speed by 20%, which is pretty good. Um, it could be a little bit better. You can see that the bullets are still kind of slow. However, um, they're quick enough to, to deal damage with and to kill enemies with, and so that's pretty cool, especially if you're in a tight area. Um, if you were in, you know, closed corridors, this weapon might be really good. Obviously, it was able to take out this barber all pretty easily. I'll go ahead and show you my uh, skill build and gear one more time real quick. Um, I've also done little weapon demos on these three weapons here as well, the other notable Vladoff pistols, including the Infinity, the Anarchist, and the Stinger. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask. If you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. That would really help me out, and I'd appreciate that. Otherwise, I do thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.